Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. I'm doing a special video because I want to cover this topic right away because it's making news and a couple of people have sent me emails and I've seen in comments that people are uh, really worried about this new Tennessee law outlawing camping on public lands. So I've already seen comments that says you can't boondock anymore in Tennessee and uh you know, you can't camp at all in Tennessee anymore on public lands. And, and so I wanted to set the record straight about this. I did look into it and I want to share with you what I found. So, yes, Tennessee makes camping on public land a felony. And the whole goal is to restrict homelessness. And there's uh, this is there's a lot to this about criminalizing homelessness. And I don't know if I'm going to cover that in this video or not. I might cover it in an ASI. Let's just see how this video plays out. But first of all, I wanted to set the record straight. It is not illegal to boondock in Tennessee. That is not accurate. What they are doing is they are making it a felony to camp on local state lands that do not allow camping, okay? So that means like city parks, that means um, other city, local, county lands that aren't specifically set aside for camping. So if there is a park that allows dispersed camping, my understanding is you can still camp there. So it, it is not outlawing boondocking. The second point I wanted to make is that national forests, which there are national forests in Tennessee, are run by the federal government. So national forests would not be covered. This specifically says it is a felony to camp on local public property such as parks. Okay, so it is not outlawing boondocking, period. Okay, like like just you can't boondock in the state of Tennessee at all. That doesn't make this right. I'm really upset about this. And I think I might save that for an as I see it video. And another thing to note is if you are in Tennessee and you are someone who is experiencing homelessness and you're living in a car, they have to give you 24 hour notice before they arrest you. So they're not just going to come knock on your window and take you to jail, which is so stupid. I mean, it's so stupid. You know, you're homeless, you're poor, so we're going to send you to jail, we're going to fine you, and the worst part of this is if you're charged, they're going to take away your right to vote. They're taking away poor people's right to vote. I'm very angry about this. I'll save it for an as I see it. One other point I wanted to make is this bill is specifically tar targeting homelessness. So homeless camps, people who are like literally living in parks and other public land areas. If you are a boondocker like me and you're going to Tennessee, it might be wise to uh, get your ducks in a row about where your permanent residence is, if you know what I mean. Uh, I wouldn't camp anywhere at this point in Tennessee and say, yeah, you know, I don't have a home. This is my home. I don't know that I would necessarily say that. Um, what I do, what I say to when people ask me and I'm really unsure, um, they say, you know, where do you live? And I say my home base is in Nevada, which is true. My home base is in Nevada. That's where my address is. That's where my, um, um, that's where I do all my business. That's where I spend most of my time every year. So that's how I usually answer that question. My home base is in Nevada. Uh, so it's not targeting people like us, assuming when I say us, most people who are, are watching this are on the road uh, as a choice, like I am. They're li literally targeting, they don't want homeless camps. I'm sure that the, the uh, conservative Tennesseans are like, we don't want to become San Francisco. Uh, so the, the, the good news is the governor, Bill Lee, didn't sign it. He was like, no, I'm not signing this. But, but the state, the state house or whatever in Tennessee went ahead and passed it anyway. So the new law is going to add local public property to the existing felony penalties that are possible for camping on state property as long as the place is not designated 
for people to camp there. So I can't stress that enough. This is only if you're camped somewhere that is not designated for camping. If there is a state forest that says dispersed camping is allowed, you're still allowed to camp there. If there is a national forest, again, this is out of the purview of the state laws that is federal land, you are still allowed to boondock, to boondock there. However, if I were a resident of Tennessee, I would be writing and calling and out, uh, this is outrageous. I would be calling my elected officials um, expressing outrage over the fact that they are criminalizing poverty. And not only are they criminalizing poverty, they're trying to take the right to vote away from poor people with this felony. If they are charged with this felony, they will lose their right to vote. That is outrageous. And I hope everyone in Tennessee will bombard their local, their uh, elected officials with their outrage over this. This is not right. How can you criminalize people for being poor? You know, and even if it's a choice, so what? Maybe I'll do. And as I see it, all right, I just wanted to set the record straight on that and clear up any uh, concerns about boondocking and living this life. Uh, I don't know though, this is, might be a slippery slope. So I did my video about climate change and how that's affecting RV life, but our social and political environment can also have an impact on this lifestyle and who knows what it's going to look like in the future. I was just thinking this morning, it's very possible depending on which way our next midterms go and our next presidential election goes, I could see this lifestyle being outlawed. That's just how I see it, <laughs> the other channel. So I just wanted to give you some facts about this so that people don't get uh, too worried. But I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Yeah, be kind, but also stand up for yourself. Bye.